Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Madison. Before we get into today's video, the day that you're seeing this is July 8th, and today I want to officially announce my giveaway. So I wanna be giving away um, four plants to four winners. Um, I will be picking all of the winner, <laughs> all the winners, all of the winners just with a random um, generator. That way, you know, how could I actually pick, pick and choose who would actually win? Um, the rules for the giveaway are gonna be super, super easy. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment of what your favorite plant is, subscribe to this channel, and also follow me on my Instagram, Plant Therapy. So just do those four things and you'll be entered into this giveaway. Now, the things I'll be giving away are two Rifidophora decursiva cuttings that I've potted up. These were two with the absolute best roots from a recent video. Actually, I think it's gonna be the video that you're seeing today after this. So I'm gonna be giving away two of these beautiful cuttings that already have um, little growth points started. So two of you guys will be winning one of these and then two of you guys will be winning a medium silvers. So I get once again picked the two that had the most robust root systems in here. So hopefully you can see how nice those roots are looking in there. And on this one, they are looking really good. So two of you will be winning a medium silver and two of you will be winning Rifidophora decursiva cuttings. So I'm so darn excited for this. So this giveaway is gonna be running for a full week starting today the 8th and running until July 15th. So up until then, you can be commenting your favorite plant on this video, making sure that you have liked, comment, subscribed, and followed on Instagram and here. And yeah, on um, Saturday the 16th, I will be be announcing the four winners on my Instagram. So on my Instagram stories, I'm pretty sure, and I'll probably just save it to my highlights just in case anyone misses out. And then I'll be trying to contact you via, um, hopefully just on Instagram DM. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do it. If not, I will try and contact you through YouTube somehow. Um, we will figure this out together. I'm so excited to do this giveaway. It is my very first time doing anything like this, shipping any plants or anything like this. So. Yeah, I hope this goes really well. Um, I can't believe I forgot to mention this is going to have to just be a USA only giveaway um, because like I mentioned before in a video, um, I'm not exactly sure how shipping between different countries works. So just to keep this safe and easy for this first one, it's gonna be USA um, winners only. So I'm so sorry for everyone who is outside of the States, um, but hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do another one that includes other countries because that would be amazing. So yeah, just to do a quick recap, the giveaway is gonna be for four winners. People will be winning either a medium silver cuttings or Rifidophora decursiva cuttings. Um, all four have really nice roots and the Rifidophora decursiva has some new growth happening and the medium silvers are gonna be ready to be potted up pretty darn soon once they get into your care. So um, I will be shipping everything just as you see it here and protecting it to the absolute best of my ability. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. Again, the way that you enter into win this giveaway is going to be to like this video, leave me a comment of what your favorite plant is currently, and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and follow me on my Instagram, Plant Therapy, same name as this channel. So I'm trying to make this pretty darn easy. Um, definitely let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment on this video as well. I'll be definitely checking the comments to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and yeah, again, it is the eighth today. This giveaway will be running until next Friday, July 15th. And then I'll be announcing the winners on my Instagram, July 16th. So yeah, I'm so, so excited. Thank you guys so much for participating and I can't wait to see who the winners are. So yeah, thank you so much. Let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Madison and today I thought it was time that we go ahead and unwrap our air layering that we did. Oh gosh, probably a couple weeks ago now, maybe a little bit more than that. I'll put in exactly how long it's been since we did the air layering on this philodendron pedatum. But I have been seeing a lot of roots poking out from the sphagnum and from the like cling wrap that cling wrap that I have there. So I think it's time that we look at what's going on and probably give this guy the chop so that we can make a fuller pot. I'm an 
gonna angle you up a little bit so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see this a little bit here. I'm just gonna start unwrapping from the top down. And I'm gonna try to, just in case some of these aren't like fully ready, I'm gonna try to keep the cling wrap kind of intact here in case I need to reuse it. Alrighty, so right up here we've got bunch of root growing here and then if I spin it whoop risky business here if I spin it over here closer we've got a big beautiful root wrapped all the way around here I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this guy I think Alrighty, this is our giant top cut here. So we've got our top leaf. And then these are the roots that we produced from doing that air layering. So yeah, let's just keep taking this off and we'll see how all those other ones look. Hopefully all these other nodes uh, rooted as well as that one did because that was really nice. Well, <laughs> this one rooted barely at all. I'm going to cut it anyway and we will try and pot it. But let me come over here and show you. So although we didn't root at all, it looks like, where is it? Right there, there is focus. There is a growth point that is starting down here. So I'm not sure if that is going to be a root or um, a growth point, but we will see. The leaf looks beautiful, though. So this is so strange. We had really good roots on that very top cut, and then the one, two, three middle nodes had no root happening. And then the very last one that we tried to root, rooted up beautifully. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but beautiful <laughs> root right here. So I guess I'm just gonna chop it anyway. We're just gonna chop it anyway, whatever. And uh, hopefully all of the cuttings make it. I have a good feeling that they will. Okay, I cut that without cutting the roots off. And look at those beautiful roots. So we at least have two cuttings that we know will do really well, or that we hope will do really well. I won't say we know, but they should. So for the rest of this plant, I think I'm just going to give it a hose off in the shower just to kind of rinse off all of the sphagnum that I got everywhere. And then hopefully this will start pushing out some new growth points for us. This one's so big. Let's just cut it. <laughs> Bam. And why not? I'm just going to cut off the excess because the cups that I'm going to put these in are not going to allow for like three inches um, of extra node at the bottom. I'm so pleased with how that one rooted. I just wish that they had all rooted like that. I'm not really sure why they didn't. Um, I mean, I guess the top node or top cutting is usually the strongest anyway, but realistically that wasn't even like the top, top cutting because there were like two other nodes past that. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Maybe they weren't getting adequate oh these these little aerial roots are rotten it feels like but maybe the lower or middle roots weren't getting as good of light as the other ones because of how I've had the plant situated um that could totally be it there's so many different reasons that could be but that's all right either way I am confident that we will get these to root I have um, rooted a few of these in the past and, or no, actually I haven't. That was a Burl Marks. So this is going to be my first time um, really trying to root these guys. So we'll see how that goes. So before we go ahead and do anything drastic with these cuttings, I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, cuts that we just made callus over for about 20 or 30 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll pot these guys in just some cups of sphagnum 
and yeah, hopefully they will thrive for us. So I'll see you back here in just a second. Hey guys, it's the next day. So I went ahead and just let these guys fully, fully callous over. Um, and they are looking good. See if I can show that to you there. But the ends are looking nice and dark and calloused over. And the roots aren't like too terribly dried out from sitting overnight. I've got um, a bunch of damp long fiber sphagnum moss here. And I've got some larger cups and some smaller cups, both with um, holes poked in them. I just took like um, the end of a screwdriver and heated it up and poked holes in there. And um, yeah, I'm just going to wrap the bases of these guys in the sphagnum and just pop them in here. All right. So I've got them all staked up on just, let me show you what I used here. So simple, just used uh, chopsticks and a little tiny piece of plant Velcro to keep all of these guys standing straight up. That way they're not flopping all over. They will still fall over, but you know, that's all right. <laughs> but yeah, this will just make it a lot easier for me to kind of keep track of how everything's doing when they're not all flopped around on each other. Hopefully these guys will do really well and just keep growing and growing and growing and then I'll be able to add them to the pot and just make it a nice full bushy pot of philodendron pedatum because how pretty would that look? So yeah, I think what I'll do is I will keep this video going a little bit longer and I will update you guys in, I don't know, a week or so, however long it takes for me to see some growth happening on here or just some death. Oh, and actually before I go, just so you know, um, I was going to show you guys some updates on the Rufidophora decursiva that we took a ton of cuttings of um, on the same video that we initially air layered this pedatum, but none of the single node cuttings are doing like anything yet that are in that bed of moss. Um, I went ahead and put a heat mat under that um, just a few days ago. So hopefully I start to see some root growth happening. I think I only lost one. Um, actually, no, I haven't lost any of the nodes yet. They're all still just sitting there, just not really doing anything. So hopefully I'll have a positive update for you um, in the next coming weeks as well. Here we are up in my bedroom. I wanted to take a look at these Rufidophora decursiva cuttings that we put and took in water quite a while ago now. I want to say close to three weeks ago now, maybe just two, but it seems like a while. So I've got three containers. I did originally just have them in one or two, but I have switched them so that they could have a little bit more space. We do have a little fuzzy root there happening. So let's just kind of take a peek here. Oh, awesome. This one has a little growth point started. Now I'm not sure what the little like fuzzy white stuff is. I have scraped that off a couple of times. Ooh, look at that root. Hello. That is so pretty. The leaf doesn't look great, but that root does. So I'll take it. Okay. I'm sorry if you can hear my humidifier. This sucker just kicked on and it's so loud lately. I'm not really sure what's up with that. But look at that. Whoop, focus. There we go. A nice growth point and a little root started. And then this guy. <laughs> I can't believe this leaf is still holding on here, but we do have, again, a growth point and a root. I put a little chunk in here. I just kind of like tossed this in the water, which probably wasn't the best idea, but it's not rotted yet, and it, but it also hasn't grown. So I'm just going to leave it in there, and we'll see what happens. So let's pop these guys back in here. Looks like I'm going to have to add a little bit more water to this container as well. Alrighty, let's look at this guy. Ooh, <gasps> yay! Focus for me. There we go. This one has two beautiful roots. Awesome. And this leaf looks pretty darn good too. Nothing really happening here yet. So we'll see. So here's this guy. Oh, beautiful two roots and a beautiful growth point. Look at that. Once again, roots and a growth point and then some kind of murky water in there. I haven't been, actually I have, I have switched out the water once, um, like just poured it out and 
put fresh faucet water in there and called it good. Um, but it looks like, like with the other one, I could top that off a little bit. This is a cutting that I probably should have cut into multiple spots, which I still definitely could do. I could cut it right here and then pop that in the water, but there is a root growth happening. So as sad as this looks, it's doing something. Wow. Okay. I don't know what kind of food this guy has been eating that everyone else hasn't, but look at that. How pretty. That's definitely the most growth we've seen root-wise, root and there is a little growth point there. Maybe this is just a lucky pot. <gasps> wow! Look at that! Sorry, I'm so loud. This is the first time I'm really looking at these <laughs> with you guys, so that is awesome. We've got this little baby leaf looking kind of sad, but again, beautiful fuzzy root and a growth point. Trying to go through these guys kind of fast. There's another leaf. Again, we got a bunch of that white fuzzy stuff. Not really sure what that is. This guy is dying off, but look at that. And then if we take a look here, I'm sorry, we're so blown out. We've got growth happening right here at the base. We have, looks like three active growth points here. One, two, three at the base here. Is there anything else over here? Wow, I clearly need to put some more dirt here because that doesn't look great. And then let's see. Oh, if you can see here, it's so blown out, but there is a little spike right there. And then if we come over here, this leaf looks like it is, yeah, this leaf is ready to go. So I'm just going to toss him. That's fine. But this right here is all new and it's working on a leaf here that's going to unfurl i don't want to bend it too much and break it but that is awesome we do have some nice new growth starting on our base of the plant and then it looks like good root growth happening from pretty much everything or at least some start of root growth to pretty much everything on these single leaf cuttings so that's awesome all right, so I think today is the day that we should take a look at all of these Refitifora decursive cuttings and pot up all of the viable ones in this pot. I'm going to just unpot this whole situation from here, take it off the trellis, and we are going to redo the entire thing with all of the cuttings back in there. I think I'm gonna leave out um, one or two for a potential giveaway or something like that soon, so. Yeah, that's what I would like to do with a couple of them. And then let's take a look at these um, cuttings here. These are the philodendron pedatum cuttings that I did have in sphagnum moss and they were just not doing anything. And sometimes I have more luck propagating like philodendron and stuff like that in just water. So that's what I did. I put those in water about a week ago, I think, maybe a smidge longer than that. I don't know, something like that. Um, so we'll take a look at those and see how they're doing. And yeah, probably just leave them in water, honestly. But I think this is probably going to be the last checkup that we do of these. And then you'll just have to keep your eyes peeled on how this does in future videos. Okay, we are back. I thought first we would check with um, probably like the least exciting part of this uh, whole thing, which are all of these no, these are all of the Refritophora decursiva leafless nodes that we chopped up quite a while ago and put in this bed of sphagnum. And um, yeah, not much has been going on in here. So <laughs> let's take a look. I have one, count them, one that has, ah, wait, I have two. There's another little tiny guy right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there is another little tiny growth point right there. So we have two nodes that have um, like actual active growth points happening. So <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best way to do these. So I might try and uh, look at some other ways to do this. Um, I've had way better luck with the ones that I put in water. So I might have to do some experimentation with some of this stuff here and see, because I don't want to lose all of these nodes. That would be a bummer. But, um, but yeah, I'm just going to start taking these out of here and separating them uh, into like, you know, piles of like alive and dead <laughs> and see. Um, but yeah, I will start with like the best looking one here first. I have had um, 
what's it called, a heating mat um, under these guys uh, for quite a while now as well. So this one has a nice little leaf happening and some fuzzy roots that are all kind of entangled in this moss. But, um, but yeah, I have had um, a heating pad with this guy, but it just hasn't really uh, helped much, it seems, which is kind of a bummer. So if we see here, how do I show you here? We do have like a little growth point right there and a little growth point right there. So that's something. This guy has nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to rethink this. This guy's like fully dead. <laughs> so is this one. We're gonna say this one is dead as well. There's like a little bit of like not deadness in there, but he's, he's not gonna make it. This guy's got some root happening. So this did have an aerial root when I cut it, it looks like. That's what the kind of black is right there, is an old aerial root. And then it started growing new roots from that. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> so I've got it all emptied out here. This is just a sad, empty bed of sphagnum. <gasps> a lot of the nodes, I would say, definitely a majority of the nodes have absolutely no growth happening, but aren't dead yet like they aren't shriveled up and dead we do have like luckily the smallest portion that has just totally shriveled up and died which is fine so let's see how many in total i guess let's see two four six so six total that are just like fully died so far out of the nodes so that's not too terrible you know considering there's quite a bit and then a majority of them just have like either the teeniest little amount of root happening, like right in front of my finger here, there's a little bit of root happening, or um, like a little growth point that is started. I'd say like three or four of them, really one has like the best roots and like a little leaf happening here. But um, yeah, three of the other ones have like actual, you know, decent little root systems happening. This little guy does have a little growth point there that's started and a root, so that's nice. Um, but definitely not the greatest. So that's all right. I will set these off to the side, set those off to the side. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those quite yet. Um, I think that, um, like I said earlier, this is where I'm going to end this video is at this last check here. So I'll keep you guys updated and like let you know what I do decide to do as far as the nodes that didn't do anything, the nodes that do have a little bit of growth. I think I am going to keep them in the sphagnum, maybe just move them to like a smaller Tupperware of sphagnum so I can just like keep a closer eye on them and just keep them like in my bedroom perhaps because I do have good luck with the Rifidophore growing in there with that light. So maybe that's the, maybe that's the trick. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the cuttings that are in water. Okay, so I've got all of the cups. I have three different cups of water with the cuttings in them. So let's start with this guy first. Ooh, well, I didn't do myself any favors by leaving this guy as one big cutting because I thought it was pretty. It didn't root at all. So I'm gonna grab some scissors back here and cut this guy up. And I'm just gonna chuck him back in the water after he's calloused over um, for a while. And then hopefully he'll be able to grow. Cause he's not dead yet. So I've got three separate cuttings from that. I totally should have just done that from the get go. That was, that was my bad, but it was just really pretty. So, you know, you know how it goes sometimes. You just gotta try. Um, and then let's see here. So this is kind of cool. Oop. So this just looks like a leafless node cutting, but it did not start that way. It originally did have a leaf that just crisped up and died after a few weeks. And um, so it was just, you know, sitting in there kind of like at the bottom. Sometimes I would kind of like prop it up like on top of some of the other nodes so that it wasn't like fully, fully submerged. But honestly, for most of the time, it was just fully submerged. And it's got a new leaf coming out here and some really nice roots. So I'm really pleased with that. Even after it lost its, uh, its leaf, it still kept on doing its thing. And then let's see here. So for this cutting, I actually don't see any actual roots yet, but there is a growth point. So that is awesome. I'm not gonna pot this one up quite yet. This will just stay with the other cuttings that we just took apart. Took apart? You know what I mean. Um, and then, oh, 
Ooh, okay, so yeah, don't leave them fully submerged in water. I was like, oh, maybe I could just dump the rest of those in water, but no. This one was fully submerged in water after it lost its, um, its leaf and I forgot to like ever prop it up and just let it stay in the bottom of the cup and it is fully, fully rotted. It's like super squishy and gross. So um, there's nothing else in there. I don't think I can totally show that to you because it will spill disgusting water everywhere and I'm not trying to have that. So let's get into this cup here. This one, as you can see, we've got some nice looking leaves still and some crisped up and dead leaves. So, oh, this guy just like <laughs> pulled off of its node. So that's all right, that's just garbage. Um, let's see, oh, we're very tangled in here. Uh-oh, okay, I'm just gonna have to pull them all out. All right, here's one. <laughs> There's another one in there. Okay, so I had a couple of nodes that also lost their leaves, but look at this guy, he was floating in the bottom, so I don't know how he survived, but he's got a nice, beautiful fuzzy root or a couple fuzzy roots and a growth point started, so that's awesome. And then this guy as well lost his leaf, but we've got beautiful little root system going on here and a leaf that is uh, gonna pop out soon. So, awesome. Nothing else in here, just some gross murky water again. Set that out of the way. So let's see. Okay, so I've got one cutting in here that there's no active root growth happening around here, but there is a small, small growth point happening. So again, he's just gonna continue hanging out in a cup of water. This guy's got some root happening and another growth point. Um, it would probably be okay if I potted this guy up, but I do think I'm going to wait until the roots get a little bit more established. This one looks beautiful. Look at all those roots there. So that one is definitely ready to just be potted and it has a little growth point happening there. So that's awesome. That looks beautiful. Okay, and then the last one in that cup has again, beautiful roots, like really nicely established system there. The original leaf still looks beautiful. And again, we've got a growth point happening. So yay. All right, let's get into this last cup, which has quite a few cuttings in it. So again, we've got some really nice looking leaves here still, and then one yellowing dying off leaf. Okay, cool. So the original leaf looks really good, and we've got some nice roots happening there. I don't see a growth point, but I am comfortable with like the length of the root happening that I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and pot him up. I think he'll be just fine. Okay, so here's another one that I am going to keep in water. Luckily, this big, beautiful leaf still looks pretty darn good, but um, we have no roots happening yet, just a little growth point. So he'll stay in water for a bit longer. Look at this guy. Again, the leaf looks pretty good, not too sad and he's got nice growth popping off here and some beautiful roots and even roots coming from uh, the new node that it grew. So that's awesome, ready to be potted. And this guy's got a similar deal going on with roots coming off of the new growth point as well as the original uh, node. Ooh. Oh man, hit my funny bone. <laughs> okay, this one, hasn't quite lost this leaf. It's gonna be like dead, dead soon, but there's still the tiniest bit of green in there. So I'm just gonna wait for this to fall off naturally. Um, and I do think I am going to pot it. It's got some really nice fuzzy roots and a beautiful growth point happening. So, so cool. I'm sorry, I'm just like repeating myself constantly, but that's just kind of what this is. All right, so this guy, the leaf still looks pretty good, but I've got no, um, no new growth point and just like, teeny teeny tiny nub in here that looks like will be a root eventually so he will just stay in water so i'm just gonna pop these guys right back in here these guys are just gonna stay in my bedroom um, for another couple weeks until the roots look like they are ready to be um, potted up here we are i've got a cup of cuttings because like i said about a week ago or so um, i went ahead and took them out of the moss cups that they were in and put them in water because i got nervous because they were just not looking good so let's see if we're still not looking great yeah okay so 
It's not dying. This is like that top cut. So I honestly can't even believe that this is still alive because I probably should have waited for this leaf to fully emerge because this is definitely not going to turn into anything. I would be shocked if it did. Um, and I'm not seeing any roots or any growth or anything like that, but there is like this small little gr light green bump here. And I feel like that is where a growth point is gonna start. So I do not think that all hope is lost. I'm just gonna keep these in the water. I should try and take more of this moss off of here so it doesn't rot or anything. But this one already had like decent aerial roots when I chopped it. I'm pretty certain that that's like what these roots are, but there are some new little white fuzzies going on here and a new little growth point here. So that is definitely gonna be okay, or it should despite the fact that like the top of that node look, looked a little bit yellow. I think it's gonna be fine. This guy lost its leaf, as you can see. It's just this like weird little petiole. Um, but we do have a growth point happening right here. So once again, he's going back in the water. This is another one that had these beautiful aerial roots um, done when I was air layering. But once again, here we've got some white fuzzy root happening and a little growth point. So that's awesome. I don't think we're actually going to lose any of these cuttings. I don't think so. So again, no crazy roots, but a little tiny root nubbin and then a little growth nubbin right above it. Okay, this one looks the most iffy out of all of them, like definitely, look at that. That doesn't look like the right color, but there is a little like bump right on the bottom there and it looks like that's gonna be probably, I mean, based on its placement, I would think that would be a root, but it doesn't look like a root, it looks like it's gonna be a node. So we'll see. The leaf on this one also has died. It's just like a stiff petiole, which is so funny. And then, that doesn't look great, but there is some stuff happening here. There's growth happening here. So he's, uh, he's gonna be fine. I'm saying it, putting it out in the universe. He'll be fine. I'm gonna put some of this murky water back in here. Ew. I should really change that water up. Maybe I'll do that soon too. I should change the water up into some fresh stuff because, oh. Oh. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> oh my God, why did I do that? Oh, do you, ever, do you ever do stuff like that? I do that all the time. I just like have to smell it. I don't know why, no good reason. All right, I'm gonna take you off this tripod. Let's uh, show you some stuff over here. Okay, here we are. So this is the base um, of the Rifidophora decursiva. So at the very base here, where we made a chop right here, it's popped off new growth and there's two adorable little leaves here. They're so cute. And then down here we've got, oh, actually, yeah, three growth points that have activated. So we've got one here, one here, and then this guy here. You can see we chopped him here and we've got new growth. This is a new leaf right here. That's so pretty. This is actually my first time seeing this leaf. It's really, really pretty. And it's working on another one right here. Let's look at this here. So this is the base cut or the base plant of the philodendron pedatum. And let's start at the base here like we did before. We've got new uh, a new leaf coming out right here, which is awesome. All right, so I have gone ahead and potted up the decursiva or repotted up the decursiva with I think like seven or eight cuttings. Um, in the pot here. So we have some of the single leaf cuttings that had the really good root systems already. And then um, I think just a couple um, leafless node cuttings as well. So yeah, I went ahead and reattached the longer arms just in a couple places to start training that to go up. And yeah, hopefully they all are okay with the transfer from um, the ones that went from like soil uh, or excuse me, from moss to soil. Hopefully those will do okay. I'm sure they will. Um, but yeah, they, I think it looks really nice like that. It already looks um, more full. And then as I'm able to, um, you know, get some more cuttings that have more established roots, I'll be able to start, you know, just digging little holes and just like adding more cuttings into this pot so it gets more and more full. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how this looks. 
All right, you guys, I think that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me, following along on this kind of propagation journey with the Rufidophora decursiva and the Philodendron pedatum. Um, I'm sorry we didn't get to see quite as much as I wanted to with that pedatum as far as like, you know, exciting stuff goes, but I am pretty darn pleased on the growth that we got with those Rifidophora decursiva cuttings. Um, it definitely seems like those like to propagate in water if possible um, when they have like a leaf left behind um, much better than they do propagating in the moss, at least for me in my environment. That's not to say that that is going to be the same for you in your environment. So if moss is what you really want to try, try it and it might work absolutely amazing. And there's so many other different ways to propagate as well. So, you know, the, the two ways that I tried today are definitely not the only ways to propagate your plants. All right, I will leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. I don't know what to do with my hands. Mm-hmm.